The night sky is under threat more than ever before. Not only do we have the impact of light pollution, but now we have this. What you are seeing is not the stars of the night sky. This is a mass of satellites orbiting the Earth. These satellites are known as the Starlink constellation. And it's only going to get worse. Starlink is basically SpaceX's way of providing global internet. Well, its purpose is to give uh, global broadband improved communication and it will eventually be used for probably GPS and military purposes as well. In the next five years, 12,000 of these satellites will be launched into low Earth orbit. Posing a threat to our view of the night sky. There are satellites in the sky already, that we've got the International Space Station. We need satellites, we need those systems of communication. And when there's tens of thousands up there, that will outnumber the number of naked eye stars visible in the sky. That would be the end of astrophotography as we know it. The thought of thousands of those being in the sky has now become even more terrifying than it already was. And that's where it might become a problem. Not being able to see that is heartbreaking. The race is on. And be the first one to provide the service. Also you've got one web, you've got Amazon, who are also looking at putting up their own mega constellations. So it's not going to be just SpaceX. It's where do you draw the line? This is the problem. Esto va a afectar astrónomos, astrónomos amateurs, por igual alrededor de todo el mundo. Que ya está me afectando. Son extremamente brillantes, eso destrói completamente nuestra sensación. A gente, nesse mundo moderno de hoje, a gente ya no tiene más. Y yo quiero eso de vuelta para mí. Oh. Starlink Satellites. La formulación sería, ¿está el cielo más amenazado que nunca? Y mi respuesta es, sí, está muy amenazado. Vi un, una línea de satélites saliendo por el cielo. La verdad es que es muy, muy, muy invasivo. We will no longer recognize the constellations. Astronomical observations will be lost forever. astronomers are going to be seriously affected and those wave bands are going to become completely unusable for radio astronomy if these mega constellations happen on the scale that they're talking about. Not the of which is dedicated search for near-Earth impacts from asteroids riding around uh, our solar system. You know, one day one of those is going to hit us. In being the driver of space exploration could hold back space exploration by putting these satellites in the way of real astronomical research. Fueron 60 y ya era muy notorio, faltan 11.000, entonces es para preocuparse, es para preocuparse. The night sky which our ancestors observed will be blurred by the mass of satellites. It will be lost for future generations. Their reality is going to be this network of satellites filling the sky. And there's really not much regulation against satellites and, and things that you put in space. I don't want this ruined for my generation or future generations. Space is for everybody. So please help support us. Maintain our window to the universe and, and look after the night sky. Protege el cielo para nuestras futuras generaciones. Proteja o céu noturno para as gerações futuras. <risos>